Back to Puzzling Bibliophile. It's me, Robin, ready to spin for another puzzle for the month of December. So as I open that wheel, I am down to seven puzzles. So let's see what comes up. I could not be happier. 100 great words. I have wanted to put this in the forefront for weeks now, so I will be working on this one soon. Let me go ahead and hide the slice, and of course, as always, I will superimpose the cover of the box on top. So again, my name is Robin, Puzzling Bibliophile. I am here with a quick run through of me putting together 100 great words a 500 piece jigsaw puzzle from ebu so as mentioned my name is robin puzzling bibliophile and here i am with this beautiful puzzle called 100 words it's not any great picture it's not what uh scenery or landscape it's not a collage puzzle but what it is is it is 100 words and it's called 100 great words because all it is is words that are very different words words that are not used usually in everyday conversation they are in upside down order sideways order upside down and backwards and it was just a lot of fun i found the puzzle to be quite challenging as i struggled with the edge pieces but the funny thing is as i got to about two-thirds of the way through with this puzzle i realized that there was a strategy that i could have been using all along but never fear i still enjoyed working with it because as i worked on this puzzle i spent some time with my echo device in order to get the definition of words that I had not been familiar with or had not seen for a long time. And I loved it. I loved refreshing my memory. I mean, I've kind of got the unkind, kind of, let's say it like this, the reputation of being uh, too book smart or a know-it-all. And it, it has created some problems for me, but I try to be as modest as I can in this particular puzzle with words that I had never seen or needed to be reminded of their definitions really helped me to feel like I could be humbled um, in the cases that I need to be humbled. In any event, let's go ahead and read the poem on the back of the box. There it says, don't be flummoxed by this plethora of words. They are abstruse but you'll become loquacious if you put them all to use. Admonish the recalcitrant to come and join the fun, or kibitz from the corner until the puzzle's done. So that's the poem on the back of the box. So as I said, I had a lot of fun using my device to give me the meaning of some of these words. For example, crapulous, which means caused by or showing the effects of alcohol. Then there's pugnacious, eager or quick to argue or fight. And who of us does not know someone in our lives who will start a fight at the drop of a dime? Then there is the word crepuscular, which is relating or resembling to twilight. And this term is mainly used in zoology for animals that are active during the twilight hours. And those are just a few examples of so many of the words that I got to look up to either add to my vocabulary or be reminded of words that I wanted to know about. And what's fun with me with regard to this puzzle is every day I've been watching Jeopardy and I also play brain games on my Nintendo Switch or even sometimes on my phone. So knowing words like this is really good because I might stop playing Scrabble again. And can you imagine if I use the word nadir or kibitz or hijinks? I would never think to use those words in a Scrabble game. 
or laconic, rambunctious, of course. That's too long for a Scrabble word. But my goodness gracious, I really loved this puzzle. And I hope that you enjoyed me talking about it on this video. And I will talk with you with my next one. Thank you for watching.